What's up YouTube? This is the Raspberry Pi 3 and it's a very inexpensive single board computer. Now a lot of people don't want to spend the extra cash to buy themselves a nice custom case, spend the extra dollars, so they either do it themselves or they get little creative ideas. So in this video, we're going to see some of the most crazy, absurd, ghetto, cheap, uh, weird, maybe even cool top 10 Raspberry Pi cases. You be the judge. Let me know what you think were your top three favorites or top three, oh my God, I can't believe these exist. Let me know in the comment section below. All right, number one, we have the CD case. Remember when we used to have all those DVRs and blank DVDs sitting around, or even we got those free AOL CDs? Well, guess what? You can use the clear side to show through your Raspberry Pi. And there you have it, that's a Raspberry Pi 2. Hey, good for him. Using a couple screws around your house, some CDs, you got yourself a cool looking case. Now, <laughs> this one's a little more literal. Taking the Raspberry Pi, putting it in an apple pie from McDonald's cardboard box. I mean, pretty cool. It, it, it literally says pie on it, so you already have the graphics done for you. Um, no drilling required, no cutting required. Uh, pretty, pretty nice setup on this one. Number three, the Marlboro case. Why not? You finish smoking your pack of cigarettes, you don't want to throw it out, you're looking at this pack, you're like, what can I do with this? Turn it into a Raspberry Pi case. Right about the right size, if you have Marlboro 100s, maybe even more perfect of the size, but there you go, you can get red, you can get white, you can get silver, yellow, you know, whatever your flavor is, you can make it into a Raspberry Pi case. Now, a little bit of warning, there is cutting required on this particular setup. Moving on to the Lego case. I mean, we've all thought about it before. They even sell these professionally made uh, Lego cases. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of different ones. This one seems like the guy was just digging through his, you know, Lego collection and found what worked and put it together. So I love that part of it. Just get what you have in the house and put it into something and use it. Next up, using the Raspberry Pi box. <laughs> you don't need to go out and get anything. All you have to do is when you get your new Raspberry Pi, keep the box, cut the holes, and voila. You don't have to pay those extra dollars for the case. You just cut the openings. You have your box right. <laughs> you have your case ready for you. Uh, nice cutting job, too. Good job. All right, the cardboard box, so a little bit nicer, actually using some sort of grommets to space it out. A nice big piece of cardboard on the bottom, a slim piece to cover the top. I like that it didn't just sandwich it like an ice cream sandwich. I like the little exposure here, showing off those LAN ports and the USB ports a little bit. Those do hold up really well, so as far as scratching and things like that, you know, I see this as a really well thought out design. And the fact that the cardboard has those rounded, it's not really rounded, but the, uh, you know, the, the slight curved edging and they're all even, you know, it just adds the detail here. So really nice and some acrylic screws to top it off. So, hey, well made for, for a couple pieces of cardboard and some plastic screws. All right. <laughs> to me, this wins the I don't care award. Uh, getting two credit cards or maybe two rewards cards, maybe you have your CVS rewards cards, you have some other rewards cards or an old credit card, an old empty gift card, whatever it might be, sandwich those bad boys between your pie, get out your electrical tape. And I, I do like the electrical tape because that is, he was thinking ahead, he or she was thinking ahead. Uh, didn't go for duct tape, went for something a little more non-conductive. Uh, so, <laughs> There was some sort of engineering ingenuity going into this, so prop, <laughs> props on that one. The Tic Tac case, so this is a Raspberry Pi Zero, a little smaller of a case, but hey, Tic Tacs, you're done with your Tic Tacs, you usually throw that away or recycle it, why not turn it into a Raspberry Pi Zero case? As you can see, cut holes for the micro USB ports and the mini HDMI on the side, and then out the top when you open up your Kit Kat, now your Tic Tac container, you have access to the micro SD card. So the only other thing you might want to do is cut out a little thing on the top there to get to the GPIO pins. But other than that, really nice. And this guy already soldered on some male GPIO pins, so good on them. 
All right, the wood box, because why not? Get two thin pieces of wood, some metal screws, drill those holes in, and voila, this is a Pi Zero doing this, but using a Pi 3, something like that, shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. If you want to secure the Pi down, you can drill little holes and get little screws for the actual Pi itself as well. But a four screw, you know, rectangular design like this, perfect. And uh, as far as all we've seen so far, this does seem to take the most amount of work, but it's also, as you see, probably the, the best aesthetically, unless you're talking about that credit card <laughs> by case, uh, that one might be it. Oh boy, oh boy. So I'm not even sure which Raspberry Pi model this is, um, but uh, the duct tape case, right? If there's nothing duct tape can't do, right? This just proves that duct tape fixes all. It fixes all, as we're seeing here. So the duct tape case. And that's it. Those are our 10 DIY cases. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know your top three. Uh, which one <laughs> did you like? Let me know if I missed one. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.